Welcome, this is a tutorial about how to start a game on SFB Online. The first thing you need to do is log into your account. As you can see, the, the dialog is already up, so let's click Log In. After that, you will want to start a game. I currently have a, another player already waiting for me. I'll double click on that and it'll bring up the new game. Next, select your ship, select a name, I will choose Clink, and then make sure you have your what starting position you want, whether it's top or bottom. If you have a question about which one you want, then I would recommend you then type down here with and discuss it with, with your opponent. Okay? And after you select your name and your position, then you click Start Game. Okay, after the game is started, then probably the first thing you should do is go to your uh, My EFs tab. And you can click Start Turn. Click the Start Turn. And then you want to... First, probably set your speed, so you click on the speed plot, and this will let you to actually set what your speed plot is. You can set your starting speed, okay, start with impulse 1, I'm gonna start with speed 15, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my speed on impulse 24, because you can see that on if going speed 32, impulse 24 is, well, the 24th movement, and so I will then change to 21 and click. Oh, actually, I'll also use Impulse for Movement and click OK. Now, obviously, when you're doing EA, you want to first discharge it. And then the next thing you're going to want to probably do is then recharge it. That, that's the way you do reserve power. In this case, reserve warp power. You have to first discharge by then recharge it, and then let's go with standard disruptors. Moving on. Okay, reinforcement. Nothing. I'm not gonna do anything with my shuttles this time, and I am completed. So I'm gonna submit my EA, and yes, I I am done. Next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your expendables. I see I moved to my expendables tab. Go to seeking weapons. Now you got to make sure that you have this all loaded up the way you want it. In the case of the to actually to change this from a type one to a type four. I have to first remove a type 1, because otherwise you don't have enough room. So I then will select type 4 fast. So I'm going to change, do an exchange there. Because see, if I do this, and I select type 4, it's going to give me, oh, there's not enough room, because there isn't enough room. So first, let's remove that, and then also let's give another type 4. And these, I'm going to change these for a couple fast, and... I am all set. I've used up all for the regular tournament play. I've used up all my points for the Klingon, and you can also transfer from storage or to storage. This is mainly for you know in between turns, and then you have you can clear and fill the racks. This is that's mainly for when you're playing non-tournament play. And after that, if you're all completed, then you click. After both of you have finished your energy allocation, and, and after you're completed, you're doing your energy allocation, and you're, you see that your opponent has also finished his energy allocation, then you go and announce your speed. You do that by selecting this, it will re reveal your EW and speeds. In the case of EW, that's for the regular SFB games, non-tournament. Okay, so yes, and we'll click OK. 
And so we both have announced our speeds.